Are we gonna catch the tent on any of this noise? I'll go around it. Right. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. Yeah, but now we gotta get up out of it, but here's an interesting, like, there's almost no wind down here. Let's do it, right here. Well, this could definitely be an option, especially right over here in front of us. You see there's already some rocks for like a fire pit and stuff, but uh, there's no wind. I say we just, we go up around here a little bit and see what it looks like and then come back. In February, 2023, we were able to find a rooftop tent on Facebook Marketplace and quickly snatched it up in the middle of the night, realizing that we purchased it for a third of what it would have cost new. The next morning, we put it on top of the runner to verify that it was going to fit and that all the pieces were there. And also, I wanted to check and make sure that I could open this thing by myself if needed. Our next step was to figure out where we were going and how we were going to test it. Ron had also just finished my lift and putting new bigger tires on the runner. So this was a great way to test everything out. So we roped in my brother-in-law to go with us and we decided to go to Southern Arizona for their birthdays. We got down into the Sonoida, Arizona area and something we did not account for was how windy that entire area is. So that's something to consider if you're going to head that direction. I like this spot a lot. Okay, cool. yeah, we'll go up a little bit though and then come back to it. Okay, ask him to watch the yeah. sticks with the tent for us. Or the, yeah. Hey, um, I know I'm going to probably rub the, the tent on this tree up here, but I'm going to try to go around to the right with it. Or the left, I'm sorry, left. Tell us. Let me know. First, before I go. You're good. Oh, this could be easy. Yeah, I'm just worried about the desert pinstriping. As he says, from a black vehicle in the back. Right. Let's see how it goes. Too easy, drill sergeant. You got it. Go ahead. Think so? Yeah. What do you think, Sean? You want to you want to do it? No, not really. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, come this way. Yeah, I am. I am. Okay. Just want to clear that first. And not go back. Yeah. Sure. Going back to the trees up ahead. Oh, I see what you're talking about. We will have to uh, Well, I guess we'll just see what it looks like when we get there. Oh, I yeah, heard it's it. Underneath. It's I heard underneath. It. It's underneath. It's underneath. That was plate. paint. No, it was not. Trust me, that was steel. Skid plate. first. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right, we're just going to put it in park here and then we'll take a walk.
back in the refrigerator over here. When did he do that? With the cheese. How was your dinner? It was awesome. Baby, how's your dinner going? Good, so far. Come on. What are you eating? Me? Yeah. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ask me again. Uh, what do we say? Doritos in a bag, tacos in a <laughs> Uh, tacos, taco in a bag? Yep. Walking tacos. Walking tacos. There we go. Explain what it is. It is a bag of Doritos, but taco meat, cheese, salsa, lettuce, supposed to be lettuce, uh, beans if you want it, but at the moment it's 41 degrees, so we just... Went with a quick fix. I'm adding more of a quick fix also. <laughs> and a roaring fire. Yes. And so there's Sean's CRV. Mm. And there's the runner. And I put the lights because we saw rodents and it freaked me out. So I put the lights so maybe they'll stay away. And we'll probably stay in the back. Not yeah. probably. We're staying in the back because it's supposed to be 32 degrees tonight. Yeah, it's going to be freezing. So we're not going to sleep in the tent tonight. But tomorrow we'll sleep in the tent. Yeah? I'm suck it up tomorrow. Yeah. Mmm. Easy peasy. Now it's time to make breakfast. I brought frozen ostrich eggs so that way we didn't have anything cracking and I had enough for everybody and I made chorizo and egg burritos while Ron uh, warmed the tortillas on the grill and that worked but I preferred a less smoky flavor to my burrito so I was heating them up on the pan. Once we got cleaned up, we got back on the road and we were thinking we were going to go down to the Chiricahuas or down to Douglas. It was ridiculously windy and part of our planning was trying to look at all the weather maps and everything, trying to figure out where we were going to be a little warmer and where we were going to get out of the wind. We saw off the side of the road some antlers and stopped and I was able to see some pronghorn. These were directly outside of Sonoida, Arizona and they're often in the field. Went through Sonoida and hit the road and headed towards the Chiricahua Mountains. There was quite a bit of snow on the mountains and I was actually a little excited to get over there and see. Once we got in, we went up to the visitor center and there was zero cell phone reception as you're going in. It was nice to see running water and the visitor center closed mere moments before we got there. So we were able to hang out and use the facilities and decide what we we're gonna do. How's your birthday? Good so far. How's yours? Oh wait, it's not your birthday. It's just mine's. <laughs> and yes, I said mine's. <laughs> After 
after checking out the trail conditions and a little bit of history, we decided to head up the mountain. I do actually do this. <laughs> I just realized I have, I'm doing all the filming and I never am on it. I never am on it. <laughs> Chiricahua National Monument is about two hours southeast of Tucson and it's only about 40 minutes from Wilcox, Arizona. So you would take I-10 East and you would take State Route 186 to the National Monument. The Chiricahua Apaches called these pinnacles standing up rocks. Their origin began 27 million years ago when eruptions from the Turkey Creek volcano spewed ash up to 1,200 square miles. Bonita Canyon Drive winds eight miles up to the top, and once you're up there, you're up higher than 9,700 on elevation. That will take your breath away alone, but the views, definitely set you back. After spending some time up at the lookout, we came down to Sugarloaf Trail and it was an hour and a half hike for the guys. I decided I was staying in the car. I was a little too cold and wanted to put the solar out to charge up our batteries. You can see the trail go along about mid-mountain and it cuts through an arched rock that was blasted through and then they climbed the back side of that mountain and took one of the radios with them so that way we were in contact the whole time because again, the reception was not really existent there. We had solely a few bars for texting only and there was no data available. As the guys made their way down and once I knew they were completely safe, I had taken the opportunity to charge up the solar bank as well as time to do my hair, did a little reading, and I also was checking on GPS where we could go next. When we were coming in the National Monument, I did see a road that kind of was an offshoot right before the sign. So we took off down there to explore and found a great spot for lunch while Ron picked out the giant bugs out of the grill that decided to become a fixture on the front of the Forerunner. We also were able to find water. Anytime we find water, it's an amazing thing absolutely gorgeous. Down at the base we had reception so I checked the weather and we were in for it. So we headed to Wilcox to get some firewood and groceries and then out to find a boondocking spot. Those were also pre-seasoned. Jim used to make them grilled with just seasoned salt. What happened to your arm? I'm alive. You, <laughs> you have a bunch of dirt all over your arm. Where are we? <laughs> I know, but...
I feel like we're a little bougier. Brought to you by Mountain Dew. <laughs> Jeez. On the platform, it's so tall. So much room for activities. The, <laughs> where's the sleeper? We got our headlamps charging in, the other thing charging in, water bottles. And the After getting cleaned up and getting an update on weather and realizing it was going to snow, we decided to go ahead and stop in Bisbee, Arizona on our way back and we decided to cut the trip short. If you come to Bisbee, you definitely have to go up all of these little side streets and see all the stuff there is to see. Alright guys, that's a wrap. That was us testing out our rooftop tent in February in Southern Arizona. Thanks for watching and see you next time.